Okay, now conduction within the plant. How does the gases exchange takes place in the plant? So we have seen the respiratory organs are stomata, lenticles, and root nails. So the stomatal openings leads to the series of spaces in the cells. Like if we, this is the stomatal opening, the stomatal opening. As we see, this is the stomatal opening. Okay, this is our stomatal opening. Okay, now the stomatal opening, what happens? The air enters into the cell. So, in between the cells, there are spaces. The space is present in between the cells. Okay, the air enters into the spaces in between the cells. This is the space. So, the air is entering in between the space. So, this is the black color is thin consider as air. Okay, so air enters in between the cells. Now, this air gets dissolved in the water. The air gets so the air gets dissolved in the water. So, if from atmosphere from outside the air enters through stomata. This is our stomata. This is our stomata. So stomata leads to the cells. Inside cells there are some spaces. Inside the, in between the cells there will be some spaces now. So the, these in, in these spaces the, the spaces are uh, occupied with air. Okay the spaces are occupied by air. Clear? So, now the spaces are occupied by the A. So, here the water will be there. Water. Water. Like this water will be there. Okay? Water will be there. So, this A gets dissolved in the water. This A gets dissolved in the water. Clear? And this water enters through the cell wall, through porous cell wall. This air, this water enters through porous cell wall. We have pores on the cell wall, we know that. So, this air enters into the cell through porous cell wall, which is dissolved in the water. Clear? Once again, I will repeat. So, stomata is the opening present in the leaf through which gases exchange takes place. Okay, our atmosphere, the air enters into the stomata. So, after stomata, after the air has entered into the through stomata, there will be spaces in between the cells. We know that interstitial spaces are not the cells, but the spaces only. So, this air occupies the space in between the cells. Now, the spaces yeah, like uh, near the cell, outside the cell, a clean water sleeve will be there in the leaves. Okay, water sleeve. This air gets dissolved in that water. Okay, now that is sent to the chill uh, water layer. In the e water layer, the one outside in which the air is dissolved. This e water is the one gaps. Gaps in the water. So, dissolve it in a group. When in this water enters into the cell, now the water has entered into the cell. Ella is there the through porous cell wall. Now the air has entered into the air has entered into the cell. Okay, air has entered into the cell. So, oxygen has entered into the cell and plant takes respiration. So, here one what is the technique is now see a oxygen has entered into the cell now the cell is the cell is rich in oxygen the cell is rich in oxygen so observe carefully now the cell is rich in oxygen air has entered into the cell cell is rich in it oxygen deficient oxygen is less here so gradient has decreased air air gradient has decreased Oxygen ekkundi, bite takkundi. So, less oxygen. We like in blue color, less oxygen. 
ऑक्सीजन लेस ऑक्सीजन मोर ओके सेल लोकल ऑक्सीजन एक कुंडी बाइट सेल बाइट ऑक्सीजन तक कुंडी सो व्हाट हैपेंस नाउ हियर इट इज नो आउटसाइड आउटसाइड दैट इज एटमॉस्फेयर ऑक्सीजन विल बी मोर सो इट विल एंटर थ्रू स्टोमेटा इट विल एंटर थ्रू स्टोमेटा एंड एंटर्स इनटू द एंटर्स इनसाइड द ओपनिंग्स प्रेजेंट इन बिटवीन द सेल्स ओके नाउ हियर हाई हियर लो clear now high to low so diffusion is nothing but high to low again the principle once oxygen enters the cell oxygen cell lo enter aipindi so epude em avutundi cell byte oxygen takku aipindi cell byte oxygen takku aipothe em avutundi byte nunchi atmosphere oxygen byte ekku undi high high nunchi low ku vachu ikkada ku vachesi low degree question so diffusion principle ante enti high to low okay so byte ekku unde atmosphere la high undi stomata nunchi low ku vachesi low ku vachesi okay vachesinda ippudu ee oxygen ikka utilize cheskunta untadi cell cell will continuously use oxygen for respiration so oxygen level ikka decrease ayipothe ippudu ikkada high undi ikkada low undi clear cell will be continuously using oxygen now so oxygen level decreases inside the cell so now oxygen is high here low inside the cell so it enters from outside to inside inside the cell by same principle diffusion same the carbon dioxide also so see carbon dioxide after i will explain this in another cell Now oxygen has been utilized and carbon dioxide is produced here. So concentration of carbon dioxide inside the cell is more, outside the cell is less. So the carbon dioxide comes outside. Okay, outside. Now it has come outside. See, here? oxygen has been utilized by the plant for for respiration and carbon dioxide is produced. This carbon dioxide. is more inside the cell now it is high so it comes to low position now what happens now here it is low now it has uh, like carbon dioxide has come outside now what happens it again goes to the atmosphere it has become high here now it will go outside into the atmosphere through stomata again through stomata clear it has become high here now it is low at the atmosphere so high to low again it will go high to low but in plants what happens the carbon dioxide which is released generally is utilized for the photosynthesis okay whatever the carbon dioxide most like uh, not complete carbon dioxide but most of the carbon dioxide which is released during respiration is Uh, like uh, is utilized in the photosynthesis we will see that in the differences between photosynthesis and respiration you will understand very clearly why we should generally our adults will say we should not sleep under the tree in the night raatri pote chettu kindu padukokoddu antaru enduku we'll discuss that in the differences okay clear under in the so simple principle diffusion how does the oxygen or gases exchange takes place in the plants so in the atmosphere oxygen is more so it enters through stomata and comes to the spaces in spaces in between the cells now oxygen is more in the outside the cell and less inside the cell so by diffusion it dissolves in the water present outside the cell and through cell wall it enters into the cell now inside the cell oxygen is there oxygen is being utilized by respiration and carbon dioxide is produced now carbon dioxide is more inside the cell and less outside so high to low high to low it came outside now outside it is high compared to the atmosphere so again from high to low it goes outside a gradient of network is formed gradient of gradient means a charge charge of network is formed and it 
goes outside by diffusion. So this same principle is observed in the lenticles and root hairs also. So by diffusion principle, gases exchange takes place. Only the leaf in the leaf we it is explained in your textbook. The same principle is applied for the lenticles and the root hairs also. Clear? Now, so what happens? So we have seen that root hairs we absorb oxygen from the soil particles. Root hairs we absorb oxygen from the soil particles. So I have explained that in between the soil particles there is some air. So this air is absorbed by root hairs. This air is taken by the root hairs and given to the plant or roots. Now what happens if the plants are growing in marshy areas? Plants are growing in marshy areas. What happens if plants are growing in very wet areas? So we know marshy areas. Burda. Burda lo grow out ne unkoli plants. What happens? Burda ante water content ek kundu. Matti lo you have more water. So how can the roots take respiration? Hmm? Because they are inside the uh, soil and the soil particles are filled with water, more water. Then how does the respiration takes place in plants growing in marshy areas? So we know that mangrove plants, We, you know, you have studied in your previous classes about mangrove plants. How does the respiration takes place in mangrove plants? How does the respiration takes place? Okay. 